to them unless I see the nail mark in his hand and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side. I will not believe. Verse 27 said, Then he said unto Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hand. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting. And believe. On those passages of scripture, I would like to reason with you from a subject. Don't nail me down. Don't nail me down. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, thank you again for what you have done in our lives. Oh God, we ask you to intervene in this worship experience. Oh God, allow me to digress. Oh God, and you increase. Oh God, I like to ask you that you, you the one that lead this worship experience. Oh God, so your name would be glorified. And the people would be edified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't kneel me down. Hallelujah. Don't nail me down. Because you should nail me down, and to, to be nailed down means I have to make some decision, hard decision in my life. All right. All right. To be nailed down to the cross means it is impossible to turn around because you have totally committed yourself to the cause and a message. To be nailed down to the cross means I may have, I may hurt and suffer and not be as popular as I wish because I must do everything I can to be like Jesus. If you nail me down, I'm going to have to give up something. So that's why I'm actually, don't nail me down. Because I don't want to give up anything. Right, right. But Jesus is a demanding leader. He said it. I didn't. But he said, whoever of you who does not take up his cross and follow me cannot be my disciples. If you want to go where Jesus is, you don't have to pick up your cross and follow him. Some things you will have to give up on this life journey. I'm saying that what really matters in your life. I'll ask you a question here. The physical or the spiritual? What matters? The popularity of the world or the pursuit of God. What matters to you? Given gaining prominence with the world or gaining access to God. I don't know what matters to you. You do have a cross attached to your life. Perceptions can't stand between you and God. Hallelujah. And the Lord. People can't stand between you and the Lord. Your ideas and, and personal feeling can't stand between you and 
scripture. Don't nail me down. life of so 
surrender. Yes, Lord. You have to pursue it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hunt for it. Yes. Sell out. Yes. Don't listen to what I know those of you are selling for sacred life. Yes. Of just watching and observing. Yes. Get committed. Yes, Lord. Come on, church. Yes. I need you to get committed. Yes. Lay your life down and get let God fill you with more of his life. I know I don't think you heard me. We need to get out of the way. And let God move in our life. The options are clear. On one side there is the voice of Satan that say don't get too involved. Uh, I know I heard that before. Well. Yes. I don't mind going to church, Brother Deacon Mitchell. But I don't want to get too involved. I'm, I'm, I'm too busy doing my thing. If I get too involved, I may have to give up something. Thank you, Jesus. You can build a fire in your not heart or your life will stay inside and stay warm and stay dry. On the others, others, you can listen to the voice, God voice. Yeah. Instead of building a fire in your heart, build a fire in your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Follow Him yeah. with a cross attached, with the nails driven deep. But follow Him because only the Holy will see God. Yeah. You got to be attached. Yes, to the cross. Yes, 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 yes. If you want to see Jesus, yes. Hallelujah! Because only the Holy will see Him. Only the committed will walk on go. Only the surrender life will enjoy the mission. Only the dedicated will stand around the throne. Only the sinner will back bash in His presence. God will not. Keep a secret from us. He'll tell us. Mr. Wendy. He'll tell us what. Tell us. That's why. On this narrow road. Yes sir. Come on. A life. We have a difficult. We, we, we're going to have some difficulties. Yes sir. Come on. Come on. On this road of life. And spirits from disease is going to affect our bodies. The voice will break hearts. Death will make us widow the widows. Devastation will destroy nations. Yes, 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 yes. So what you what do we do? How do we handle it? The dramatic scenes of life that attempt to divide us. Teach us, teach us. What, what, teach what us. do we do? Teach us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. It becomes so difficult, so hard, so it fills the world. What are we going to do? Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. We continue to struggle. Yes, sir. We confront the problem day after day. Yes, yes sir. Jesus. We hope for renewal of strength. Yes, Jesus. Where do we get it? Thank you, Jesus. Teach us. Teach us. Thank you, Jesus. Teach us. Don't be naive, my sisters and brothers. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. When you come into the house, when you give God your life, yes, that don't exempt you from trials.
get in that situation? When? Well, when you get in that situation, you need to turn to Jesus. Is that the But Paul, and I dress the Colossian church. This church needed support. Unity needs support. They worried as how they would stand before God. They desired the knowledge of God. Yes, the peace of God uh -huh. and the hope of God. Yes. Paul described first of all the meaning of salvation. Uh -huh. When he told them that their sins and their struggles and their worries had been resolved. Uh -huh. But here's my verse of Paul to have this young church, Jesus had lived you and had brought you together with him, have forgiven all sin. Woo! All. All sin. He removed it and ruled that was against you, make a spiritual life a little bit. He took everything. Your sin, your worries, your troubles, your cares, your abundance, your burden, and let it be your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. He stripped the power yes. from those that were against us. Yes. And he displayed yes. the enemy yes. as powerless. Yes. And he remained yes. triumphant to this day yes. over sin. Yes. The power of yes. yes. He didn't stop when he, yes. when he died. Get it. In order for you to get it, that's something that you can. 
I'm not saying that the road to glory is an easy road. There's going to be trials and tribulation on the road. As the text said, sickness is going to invade our body, invade our bodies. Oh God, thank you. Death gonna come and take our love on. Yes, Father. But through it all. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, we stay. Yes. Is if we allow God to nail us to the cross, then we can exchange it for a crown. I said in time past, it don't make sense for us. And die and go to hell. Have we suffered enough on this side? Don't we want to go to a place where there is everlasting joy? Don't you want to go where you can be in the presence of God? Praising and worshiping Him. Both day and night. In order for us to get there, we have to surrender all to Him. Now, so listen to the message today. Maybe there are someone have a desire to Lord I surrender nail me to the cross I surrender my life I surrender if you surrender to Jesus he says I got you. You may have trouble, but I got you. Tears may flow from your eyes, but I got you. You can lean on me. In a time of sorrow, I got you. Because I love you. There's one come to surrender their life unto the Lord. Jesus is standing with an arm stretched, inviting you to come unto him. He come. It's there's one. Let it 